Busani FM's Prime News at 6. A car bomb has exploded in the Turkish capital Ankara, killing 32 people and wounding more than 100, the health ministry has said. The explosion happened in Guven Park in the Kizile district, a key transport hub and commercial area. Several vehicles at the scene were reduced to burnt-out wrecks, including at least one bus. Last month, a bomb attack on a military convoy in Ankara killed 28 people and wounded dozens more. A local newspaper said the latest blast happened at about 6.40 p.m. and the area was evacuated in case of a second attack. Many ambulances were at the scene, it added. No group has yet to claim the attack. The Pusan and Gyeongnam Election Commissions signed an agreement on the pledge fulfillment for the policy voting with representatives from each city and provincial branches of major parties in Pusan and Gyeongnam. The Pusan Election Commission signed the agreement yesterday, attended by representatives of the Pusan branches of the Senuri Party, the Minju Party, the National Party and the Justice Party. The Gyeongnam Election Commission also pledged fulfillment for the policy voting, attended by 100 people, including representatives of each party, the Korea Manifesto Center, and members of civic groups. The city of Busan will carry out a full general inspection on headquarters and affiliated institutions of the Busan Transportation Corporation from the 28th of this month to the 8th of April. Some 17 people, including the leader of the administration ins- inspection team, will be part of the inspection. Four outside exper- experts from accounting, civil engineering, electricity and machinery will also be included in the inspection. The inspection will focus on excessive regulation not based on statutes and core regulations, routine business handling, execution of government and city expenses, prevention of disaster, and safety management of multi-use facilities. The Busan Metropolitan City Office of Education announced the countermeasures for rooting out illegal donations and bribes, or greeting fees, to mark the new school year and began its crackdown. The Education Office plans to hold joint workshops for teaching staff and parents until next month and announced a policy to severely punish illegal donations and bribes. The office will also force schools to send a school newsletter to the students' families. If a teaching staff or teacher is involved in any illegal donations or greeting fees, the education office has a policy to issue the school and persons involved a disposition as well as give them penalties in the performance appraisal. Busan's one-stop civil service office will be expanded to handle some 44 different kinds of affairs, totaling 147 starting this month. This is an increase of six affairs compared with the 141 affairs of 42 different kinds last year. The one-stop office helps to eliminate the hassle of visiting service counters separately in order to handle different civil petitions, which is what a civil petitioner would previously have to deal with. The whole process for civil petitions, including receipts and dealing with or responding to results, is done all at once in the new office. The Ministry of Oceans and Fisheries, the City of Busan, and Pugyong National University signed a business agreement on the national inducement and operation of the FAO World Fisheries University yesterday at the government building in Sejong City. Officials from each institution were sent to a preparatory committee for a FAO World Fisheries University. These institutions held a signboard hanging ceremony in the government building for the business cooperation of the newly established committee. The Busan Regional Meteorological Administration will hold the 2016 Climate and Weather Photo Exhibition to commemorate the World Meteorological Day on March 23rd at the Busan National Science Museum in Kijanggun from the 18th to the 27th of this month. Some 30 prize winners of this year's Climate and Weather Photo Contest and 23 previous outstanding photo works will be displayed at the photo exhibition with the theme of Rain, Wind and Sunlight. There will be a special lecture titled The Weather is So Temperamental by the former chairman of the Meteorological Administration, Yil Su, who is a current professor at Seoul National University of Science and Technology at 2 p.m. on the 20th. There will also be various experience events for students, including the building of a rain gauge model.
The Busan Fisheries Resources Research Institute will hold an event to release 200,000 young salmon in the Nakdong River in front of Samnak Ecological Park tomorrow. Young salmon to be released tomorrow came from Yangyang Salmon Research Office of the Korea Fisheries Resource Agency. Some 100 people from the Busan Fisheries Resources Research Institute, Nakdong River Integrated Water Management Center of the Korea Waters Resources Corporation and fishermen will attend tomorrow's event. About 150,000 young salmon will be released off the riverside of Nakdong River in front of Samlak Riverside Sports Park. The remaining 50,000 salmon will be released in front of Seo Nakdong River Racecourse. Mm-hmm.